Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about my reflections, my thoughts about uh, the Wave 1, the 2021 US Olympic Trials Wave 1. I just came back from the Wave 1 and I'm getting ready to go to Wave 2. Um, good to go home for a few days because, you know, it's kind of a, a long summer. But uh, there were some great things happening uh, at the Wave 1. Uh, I want to say in a way, forget about performances, you know? Performances, I think, were good for some people, not so good for other people. And I'm talking in general, not just my team. I think I was very happy about the Virginia Tech and PRVT swimmers that we had there, just because they had an opportunity to swim at trials and with what has happened this past 15 months, uh, just to have a meet uh, like that was just something special, you know? Um, like many people, you know, have, they have been trying so hard to to qualify for wave two or even wave one that by the time they got to the meet, they probably were wasted, you know, and that's understandable. But, but I think um, I want to say thumbs up for USA Swimming and Omaha for organizing such a, a good meet for for the swimmers. And it was very, you know, it was very special. Uh, through all this month before the meet, I was thinking, oof, this is going to be kind of like a letdown for the kids, you know, that they have worked so hard for a couple of years to qualify for the meet, and now they don't have a chance to be in the same pool than Caleb Dressel or uh, the Kevin Cordes or the, all these great athletes that uh, are going to be there trying to qualify for the, for the 2021 Olympics. And that was a hard thing for kids going to the meet. But what are the positives? Well, positives, most of the kids had a chance, if they swim well, to qualify and get a second swim. Wow, that's that's very, uh, a big deal, you know? Because besides having the experience of being at, the, at a big meet, uh, you have to have the experience of racing hard. And if you, want, if you have a long-term goal, uh, you know, being able to swim at night in the finals is a good thing. But, but also the way USA Swimming had the lights, the music, and the way they make the kids feel special. I think that was that was really, really good to see. Uh, overall, you know, I would give from one to 10, I would give a 10 to the, the meet. Uh, there's a couple of things that maybe if USA Swimming sees this, or maybe I should talk with somebody. I think the people, uh, the volunteers in the pool, that they help out with the crowd control and all this. I think they went over the top, you know. They went over the top sometimes because there were no coaches. No, there, there were no crowds there, and they were controlling things to an extreme. And I'll give you one example. You know, let's say that I was with my mask sitting, you know, and I uh, was having. Uh, I wanted to drink something, and I pulled my mask down, and I drink. And I forget to put put it back, even though it's hanging in my, uh, right <laughs> off my ear. And I'm talking with somebody for a moment. Somebody right away will come up to me and say, hey, sir, your mask. And I'm like, okay, you put your mask. But after the fourth or fifth time in, in, in a period of seven or eight days, when you see right next to you, all the spectators over there, they have no mask requirements. So we have to go through all this testing. That it's okay. We have to do it. And then you have to go through all this stress. And then right next to you, five meters away, there's all these people with no mask. Or you walk to the bathroom and there's all these people with no mask. So it's kind of like a contradiction. And uh, those are little things that I, I feel bad for the volunteers because they're doing their, their, their job to, and they're volunteering their time. But uh, that, was, that was something interesting. I hope they change it a little bit because there, uh, there were a good number of coaches complaining anyway. But anyway, thumbs up. Great job, USA Swimming, for putting up a great meet for our swimmers, for giving them uh, a great experience, for giving them a chance to, to you know, showcase themselves. And to all the swimmers and coaches, congratulations. I think just being there and giving your best at that time, uh, it's, a, it's an amazing thing. And uh, get ready for 2024. The, Hopefully there's only going to be one wave and that's going to be uh, the same way for everybody. Right? 
uh, thank you and I'll, I'll keep posting videos for wave two that I'm gonna in, in a couple of days I'm gonna be traveling to Omaha again for wave two thanks oh, 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 oh please don't forget to subscribe and if you like the video in the same way that I'm giving USA swimming thumbs up give me thumbs up and like 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 beep, 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 beep. Right. <laughs> thanks man thanks guys bye